اسلامباد سے آپ مناظر دیکھ سکتے ہیں جہاں وزیر اعظم continuously. From a 3% GDP growth before 2013, it is projected to achieve 5.5% GDP growth during the current year. In the last three and a half years, we initiated much needed reforms that aimed at sustainable economic growth and development. We recognize the importance of laying economic foundations that foster skills and capabilities, entrepreneurship, technology, energy, modern infrastructure, and a thriving investment climate. Our reforms were multifaceted as we reduced bank interest rates, eliminated tax exemptions to provide a level playing field, strengthened tax administration, rationalized untargeted energy subsidies, and widened social safety nets. These steps reinforced macroeconomic policies which resulted in lower budget deficit, increased foreign exchange reserves, and lower spending on energy subsidies. This year, we are set to cross the 5% GDP growth threshold. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, We are cognizant of the need for a comprehensive and contemporary policy framework that supports macroeconomic stability. We are well aware that international investors need stable markets backed by clear and consistent policies. We are committed to maintaining an enabling policy framework to attract foreign direct investment. Our Vision 2025 maps Pakistan to join the top 25 economies in the world, leading to upper middle income country status by 2025. The economy is targeted to grow over 8% between 2018 and 2025, while maintaining a single digit inflation. Price Waterhouse Coopers have placed Pakistan at 20 in its projected list of 32 most powerful economies of the world in 2030. As a result of sustained commitment to reform, key economic indicators have improved since our government was elected in 2013. Over the past three years, we managed to bring down the fiscal deficit from 8.6% to 4.2%, increase tax to GDP ratio from 9.8% to 12.4%, and investment to GDP ratio from 14.9% to 15.2%. We have contained inflation which touched 1.6% in October 2015 and has remained well under 3% since then. Prudent financial and fiscal management enable the central bank to provide to uh, to bring the policy rate to a multi-decade low. Industrial sector showed remarkable performance and registered a growth of 6.8% during 2015-2016. It is poised to do even better this year and onwards. The consumer market in Pakistan is growing at a very fast rate. The consumer demand of automobiles, housing and el electronics is thriving and providing considerable returns to the corporate sector. The services industry particularly telecommunication, hospitality, and online retails are fast growing into attractive areas for investment. Pakistan is emerging as an expanding market for U.S. and European products with a fast-growing middle class, 
increasing urbanization, growing popularity of international food products, and a rising number of international food chains, Pakistan is poised to become a major destination for international businesses. Our government has devised a comprehensive plan to create investment-friendly environment. We have liberalized investment policies to welcome foreign investments. We offer incentives to attract new capital inflows, including tax exemptions, tariff reductions, infrastructure, and investor facilitation services. Our investment policy 2013 focuses at reducing the cost of doing business in Pakistan, improve ease of doing business with creation of industrial clusters, and special economic zones to attract foreign direct investment. All this is protected by legislation. Distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen, Pakistan's stock exchange has been created to lower fragmentation of the market and bring it at par with global markets. The benchmark index PAC 100 crossed 50,000 recently and is touching new heights. Recently, 40% strategic shares of Pakistan Stock Exchange were sold to a Chinese consortium. This divestment is the first such sale in a bourse in the regional markets, and it also marks first venture of Chinese bourse inside, outside China. The State Bank of Pakistan and Securities and Exchange, Exchange Commission continue to improve a regulatory environment and oversight of financial and capital markets. Let me, ladies and gentlemen, also draw your attention to Pakistan's strategic location on Asia's premier trade, energy and transport corridor. It is also the gateway to the energy-rich Central Asian states, the financially liquid Gulf states, and the economically advanced Far Eastern economies. China-Pakistan Economic Corridor is a key regional initiative for connectivity and shared prosperity of nations. It is in partnership with China as part of One Belt, One Road vision of President Xi, Xi Jinping. Pakistan located at the inter intersection of three engines of growth in Asia, South Asia, China, and Central Asia is uniquely positioned to become a hub to connect a population of over three billion in these regions. Under CPEC, which means China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, a portfolio of over $55 billion is already being implemented. An investment of more than $35 billion in the energy sector is being implemented. Apart from energy, road and rail infrastructure, industrial parks and economic zones, and a state-of-the-art deep sea port at Gawadar gives CPEC the potential of changing the destiny of the people in the region and beyond. The corridor will substantially shorten transportation distances between Africa and Middle East to Central and South Asian regions. CPEC would connect the port of Gawadar to Kashgar in China. It will not only connect Pakistan to China, but also provide connectivity to Central Asia. International economic agencies are upgrading ratings for the financial and economic stability of Pakistan. Standard and Poor has upgraded its forecast of average annual GDP growth from 4.7% to 5%. World Bank forecasts a GDP growth of 5.2% for 2016-17. S&P Standard & Poor also expects Pakistan's debt to fall below 60% of GDP by 2018. It has upgraded Pakistan's long-term credit rating to be with a stable outlook. Distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me conclude by saying that Pakistan with its six Pakistan, with its sixth largest population in the world, 80 million middle class, blessed with rich human and natural resources, strategically located, politically stable, offering attractive investment policies, is a destination no global player can miss.